In this video, I'm gonna show you how to set up a hammock. And this is the Olife Sunbreeze Pro. Now they're not paying me to do this, but they did send me this hammock. All right, so I got two trees here. They're about 11 feet or so apart. And we got two hammock straps in here that are nine feet long. And we're gonna strap the straps around the tree and I'll show you how to hang this thing. Now inside this bag, we got two straps and they call this they call this a 16 plus one strap you got your 16 little loops here all down through here and then they got the plus one then this is the one that you wrap around the tree and then slide it through then you have the hammock and it's got the carabiners and it is all in one package it's got a bug net included and it all fits down in here. This bag is attached to the hammock, so it makes it kind of convenient. Now this hammock is entirely made out of plastic bottles that they collected from the ocean. So all the plastic waste is recycled. It's turned into yarn, polyester yarn, and then woven into this hammock. So it is completely 100% recycled hammock. To hook these straps up, all you're gonna do is wrap it around the tree like that. Now these straps are nine feet long, so you got three foot before your first loop here. And I'm gonna show you how to combat that. You're gonna wrap it around the tree in the opposite direction It came back through this loop, just like this, and do it one more time. Now, when you get to this end, you wanna feed it back down through that initial loop. That way, it's gonna stay right here, and when you put tension on this, it's gonna cinch this down, it's not gonna slip. All right, it's got a little tensioner here, you just press that button and open that thing up to the string there, and you just pull it open. I have a rope here for the mosquito net, and we'll get to that in a few minutes. And it does have an included or built-in mosquito net, or bug net. Now on the end of the hammocks, it has built-in carabiners on these loops. Now that you have that thing like that, you just stick this carabiner through that loop and we're gonna adjust it back and forth. You want it to be about a 30 degree angle through here. Now we're gonna come back over here and adjust this side. We're gonna move it down one loop. So this hammocks included bug net has two tie outs for a ridge line. We gotta put a ridge line from the tree all the way across there. But the only thing about these tie outs is you have to fit the rope through the holes. All right, I've already made a ridge line for this bug net that fit between these two trees. All I'm using is a bank line and I've put a overhand loop knot in the end. And now we're gonna secure it up here above the hammock. Come around your tree with your loop, feed this string through this loop and insert your toggle into that loop there. And then cinch it down to the tree. Now this end is secured with this toggle. Now you just feed this string through these tie outs. And now we tie it up to the top of this tree. And bring the string around the tree and then feed it through this little loop. We're gonna have a trucker's hitch. And now you pull it back this way. Now you could wrap this all the way around the tree like this and then tie it off. And put a half hitch right here. All right, so with this particular hammock, it's got two zippers here and they will zip all the way from one end to the other. Now that we got the bug net up, you're going to go over here and you're going to slowly sit down in the hammock. You don't want to just go and pounce all your weight up in there and it not hold. So it is going to sag, it is going to droop a little bit, but it should be sufficient enough to hold you up and you should be about 12 to 16 inches off the ground. Now the thing about this hammock is that this is supposedly a two person hammock. So I like larger hammocks to sleep in because it gives you more room to spread out and it's a lot more comfortable than just a regular single person hammock. So just go ahead and twist around just like so. 
So you want to take your feet and put them on one side and you want to lay on it catty corner at an angle like this that way you can have more room and it kind of levels you out and you're not laying like a banana now with the included bug net we put it on this ridge line up here to hold it up it is going to collapse in a little bit it does not have the spreaders to spread it out but it is very comfortable and it will allow a lot of air to come in while you're camping not bad for 100 percent completely recycled plastic now with the bug net, you want to make sure your zippers are zipped up right here into the middle. That way you can get in and out of it. If you run your zipper all the way to this end and your other zipper all the way to this end, then you're doing all kinds of contorting to pull it back and forth. So you want to make sure it's like that. You can probably pull it a little bit just like so and get out. Now you can put another ridge line up above that one and put your tarp and you can keep yourself sheltered from the rain and it'll be about a foot or so above this one and you can bring it out and give you shade or shelter from the weather. Another option that you could do if you don't like the bug net is you could take the bug net and reverse it and you can sleep without the bug net. Let me show you that. Now the bug net is completely attached to this hammock, so you cannot get rid of it. So if you don't want to sleep with the bug net, all you have to do is just remove the ridge line like we've already done, and then unzip it, and then fold it around the opposite side of your hammock. Some models will allow you to zip it up on the other side, and then you can lay on top of it from that way. For this one, we just lay that bug net off to the side and then you just climb up in it like you normally would a regular hammock. Now we're gonna put it back in the bag. What I like to do whenever I put my hammock back into the bag is zip it all the way up. That way everything is where it's supposed to be. Go ahead and unclip the carabiners on both sides. After you clip the ends of your carabiners together, take these two ends and just shove them down into the bottom of that bag. And just keep repeating the process. And it will stuff down in there. There we go. Now all we have to do is get the tree straps. Now when you get your straps, start with the tree side and just go ahead and fold it over and fold it over and just roll that dude up. Should look like a little biscuit, little pancake. Now fit this inside your bag and do your drawstring. Now do your other one. Now this little strap right here also functions as a compression strap. So you could put it all the way around the top here, clip it, and then pull it down and it will compress and make it a little bit smaller and more compact. And then you could just strap this or throw it into your backpack or strap it into your backpack. Now this is the Olife Sunbreeze Pro. It's made completely out of recycled bottles out of the ocean. And I like it, and it is a very comfortable hammock, believe it or not. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, like, follow, share. I'll see you next time. God bless you.